Hello everybody and welcome. So I've had a lot of requests for an overview of the custom firmware that Sergey puts out uh, versus stock. So right now I'm on Sergey's custom firmware. Um, the biggest thing for me, I'll go ahead and say this off the um, bat, incoming phone call does not startle you to death on Sergey's custom firmware. The other thing that Sergey's custom firmware does is it gives you access to all of the themes. Um, let's go into settings and we will go system, scroll all the way to the bottom and you have all of these themes which I've done another video on all of the themes. Um, so you can check that one out. I'll link it in the description below. But you get a ton of themes. Uh, I just happen to settle on this one because I think it looks the nicest, to me at least. Uh, you know, everybody's tastes are different. And this is just, you know, stock, well, custom firmware, but staying stock launcher and all. Uh, that is not saying that you can't change out for a custom launcher, different launchers. There are many, many launchers that you can load on this thing. And different ones do different things. Some of them can get rid of the top bar. You don't really want to get rid of the bottom bar because that's where your AC controls are. Um, but you can change out the launcher if you want. I'm going to try to keep it to just the, the stock launcher because that is what people are going to see out of the box. And not everybody's going to want to change out for a custom launcher. Um, although this is a full Android tablet basically for all intents and purposes it's a full android tablet you can anything you can do on android pretty much you can do on this uh so any app sh you know fair chance of it's going to be working uh there's only a few that do not work um like netflix you have to run some custom i mean you know run a, a different version uh hulu i think some people have gotten it to work stuff like that but um, as far as music apps or just normal apps, they all should work. So for me, the incoming phone, ringtone, and the themes were worth it. Uh, there are many, many, many other changes that he has done. He's added a couple of extra uh, apps that are on the white list, which means that they can uh, be run in either the background with another thing foreground in front of it. Um, and a few other things like that so to me it was worth the extra money for the custom firmware uh, it's you know I know everybody's different but whenever you're spending as much as you are on this unit uh, and you have to spend another hundred or so dollars to unlock its full potential eh, it's not really that bad so anyway um, that is just a a quick overview of Sergey's custom firmware. I, it's no, in, no, by no means, you know, a full exhaustive review because it is constantly changing. Uh, he is constantly working on it. Um, since I have had it, he has had three updates, I believe. Um, this next one will be the fourth, I believe. So it um. You know, he's always listening to the different people that have it and what they're requesting, uh, and he's trying to make changes. So that, and customer service to me is, you know, awesome. He has done an awesome job thus far, and I like it. So if you are in the market for one of these units and really want to unlock the potential of it, I highly, highly, highly suggest uh, getting Sergey's custom firmware and I am in by no means being paid to say that that is my personal opinion of the firmware um, it seems snappier than the uh, the factory one that came on the unit but um, yeah it's just it's just better um, and you get more stuff so <laughs> more stuff is usually better so that's about it for this one uh i was going to try to keep it kind of short uh so we can 
can get some more stuff done. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this, uh, hit that subscribe button down, probably down there. Uh, if you want to be notified whenever I upload a video, uh, click the little bell notification out beside it. Uh, I try not to do more than a couple of videos a week. Uh, if you want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. I uh, will catch y'all next time.